Buddy, here's a squirrel coming from my neighbor's yard. It's a little fat one. Very sensitive to noises. Eating all the stuff. Until it's chewing it away. So, slowly open up the window. Very skittish. Run away. So hopefully to see it again. Squirrel is basically the rat during the daytime. Sometime later, say it again. Just right out on the hill looking around, looking for food. It's looking at me. Getting ready to shoot it. So I'll set the camera out first. Document this. Otherwise, if I just shoot, I kill tons of squirrel without having to worry about camera. This is how it is. See? It adjust the laser and it left. Jesus. It's crazy. They saw the laser or saw me or something. Very skittish though, I think. It's the third time I see this guy. So, now, just getting ready to hit it. Gotta put on my. Bring on my camel suit. Put on my outfit. Camel hat. So it won't see me as easy. It's chilling all the way on the peanut. It's still there. The peanut. It's still there. Put the gun on the table. So I'm gonna make sure the camera is framing in. Okay. So it's going out the frame. Come out a little bit. Open the window. The reason I didn't put a squirrel in the middle of the camera is because sometimes you hit and a squirrel falls down. I want to be able to catch that fall in the camera from transition from the rifle to the camera. At least we can catch some type of fall. It's easier to put the squirrel this way. Later on, you will see the squirrel in fact went up, but it went up to a point where we can actually see where the squirrel is. This is gonna be a point and shoot quick. It's more skittish. Let me screen that like little baby. See the pellet? From left to right, went through his thigh. Wrong leg. Not the weird leg. The back leg. The hind leg. The hind thigh. See that pellet? Clean right through. Yeah. Right through. it just now. The whole thing is within a second. So 60 frames per second we're shooting at. Um, some TV, most of TV is 12 to 24 depends how nice your TV is. Sometimes it's 18. Even we put 60 frames per second you won't be able to see. You know, Each frame is a picture. So basically like a running picture you get to see a movement. So this camera is capturing 60 pictures a second to put together this video. I slow it down to 1%. So basically 1% a second means it's 100 frames per second. But the camera is shooting 60 so you get to see at least half, a little more than half of what happened during this period of time. That's why it's the lag in between. Every 2 seconds, little over 1.8 seconds you get to see the squirrel jump around each friends. Okay. Pretty dramatic, but it's just natural reaction. When you got hit in the leg. It is a male squirrel, got pretty big balls. See that dick? It's insane. Hurry up looking at this the screen. To real time. One second. All that movement. 
And he's gonna adjust the camera, drop the rifle, jump back the camera, so you guys can see it. Without the recording, I mean, I just be shooting and killing a bunch of squirrels. Nobody sees Where it. Where is it? I like to make a. Oh, it's limping along. It's limping on. See that dick? Penis. This video I can shoot again. is not made for kids. Clearly, get a camera set up. I select that option. It's not made for kids for YouTube. Still there. See so if I can sneak a pellet in between the holes. Look, the tail is still up. The tail is still up. This is more of a documentary. So, oh, the tail went in. Like Animal Channel. Let's kill these girls. One video per Damn story. it. So the tail went in. Worth it, at least documentary. I don't think the score is dead. It's more of a leg shot. Limps along. Okay. It's definitely got hit. Have to check the foot. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, hit like, and comment below. Catch you guys later.